Hello. It is uh, Saturday, December 5th, about 10 a.m. And uh, I am recording this for the second time today. Um, I forgot to turn the audio on the first time, so I did the whole video and then loaded it up on the computer and then realized that there was no audio, so fuck. Um, okay, so <laughs> got to redo all this. So every day I, I hope to share something valuable, uh, a story, a life pro tip, an experience, advice, whatever. So today's main thing I wanted to share is something that I discovered about a week ago that has been absolutely groundbreaking for everything I do. And that is Velcro. This is like 30 feet or something of Velcro tape. You've got the hard crunchy side and then you got the soft side and you can stick it on things and you can stick things together. It's fantastic. Uh, I've got an old cell phone Velcroed to a lamp right here. I'll explain why on another time. Um, the audio thing on my camera is Velcroed to the camera. So instead of having to like slide and take these things apart and like put it in and tighten it all this crap, I just stick it on there and it stays. It's freaking awesome. Um, I've got Velcro on the remote to my camera because the inside of my camera bag is like kind of Velcro-y and this will just stick anywhere. So it's really handy to just make sure that that's not flying around and hitting stuff. Um, and I'm just scratching the surface of the true power of the Velcro. So uh, get some and I think it's like seven bucks. Don't quote me on that. It might be like 10 or 12. So get some, do stuff, tell me what you're doing because I want to Velcro everything. I want to take full advantage of this Velcro system that I have going on. So do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to share is about something a little more philosophical to some it's religious and that is karma. So I first really started thinking about karma about four or five years ago. I was living in Portland at the time and I was walking through a farmer's market with my girlfriend and uh, I heard this like snap and then this woman cry ah! and I look over and what had happened was there was a bungee cord holding down a tent and the bungee cord came loose and hit this woman in the face. She was just standing in line and then whap hit her right in the face and I saw what was happening and I wanted to go help her, console her, whatever, but I, 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 I hesitated for some reason. And after a few seconds, someone else ran over to help her, and then I said, okay, cool, and I just kept walking. And for some reason, that really bugged me. I, I felt really ashamed, and I felt really at a loss. Like, why didn't I go help her? Why, why did I hesitate? Like, what, what was that all about? And I think it was just a habit. I was in the habit of, you know, just, ah, you know, let them deal with it. I'm going to just do my own thing. I was in the habit of doing that or something. But I, it, that bothered me all day. And I told uh, Casey, my girlfriend at the time, that, you know, this really bugs me. Why didn't I do anything? And you know, I want to be the kind of person that would do something, that wouldn't hesitate, that would just take action immediately. And I kept asking myself, like, how can I become that kind of person? And really, I think that was really all it took was just asking that question, just acknowledging that in myself and then wanting to be the kind of person that would run over to help someone that just got hit in the face randomly, you know. And so, yeah, it was about five years ago that I decided I wanted to change that. And you could relate that to karma. Like, I just wanted to be the kind of person that did the right thing at the right time. Flash forward to this week. Uh, last weekend was Thanksgiving. So we had Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And um, most of my friends know this about me. I'm obsessed with backpacks. 
it's been like my life mission to find the perfect backpack and I haven't found it yet but I found something close about 10 months ago or so Woot uh, had a sale if you don't know what Woot is Woot.com they do like one daily item for sale and it's usually like 100% off or some shit um, and they had this backpack on there and it looked really cool it was like a sleek design do I have it here no it's like a sleek design it's dark blue it was low profile and I just thought it looked really cool so I bought it and it turned out to be my favorite backpack of all time um, it's made by a company called in case it's called the icon backpack and uh, it's just been fantastic I use it every day um, but you know recently I acquired a whole bunch of camera equipment and it's bulky it's heavy it's delicate and this backpack wasn't quite big enough all my stuff was just smashed in there and I don't like my laptop getting smashed so I needed a new one so the first thing I did was go to incase.com and see if they had camera bags and they do I ended up getting this one it is a uh, camera pro pack I think is what it's called and you know this whole back section opens up and there's like these little compartments that hold the camera anyway that's not that important what is important is I found one that I liked I bought it I ordered it and then I kept browsing and I found that they had one that was slightly bigger and after watching a couple YouTube videos I realized I needed the bigger one for the size of camera that I have so I emailed them and I said hey I just bought this one here's my my number please cancel it I'm gonna buy the bigger one and like a day later, they canceled it, refunded the, the payment, all good. Flash forward about four days and this backpack came in the mail, but I also got the backpack that I canceled. They sent me basically a free one. Now, old Chuck would have been like, hell yeah, like free stuff. I'm, I'm definitely keeping it. Maybe I'll sell it and get like most of my money back and it, like it'll be like a, a, a net win for me. Um, but new, new Chuck doesn't want free shit. Um, new Chuck wants to pay for everything he gets and that's just my instinct now it's my automatic response I don't hesitate and I think the reason is because ever since I made that decision five years ago my life has gotten a lot better you know it used to be like the universe was against me I was always broke I was always struggling uh, I was always a little depressed um, life was gray you know but ever since I made that conscious decision to essentially the simplest way to put it is like be a good person or be what I think a good person is uh, it's like the universe the equation's been slip, slipped flipped the universe is like it's working for me now instead of against me the you know I'm much happier person the world is bright and vibrant and good things just always find me somehow it's like I'm lucky and it's black and white the decisions I make and the response I get it's like every the cause and effect is a real thing and it's not just external you know if I kept that backpack it's not just that there would be an open negative feedback loop but I know my conscience knows that I I, I stole it's, just, it's essentially theft and I wouldn't sleep as good and I would hold that th in the back of my mind and maybe I would even sabotage myself to punish myself who knows people do crazy shit and I'm no different um, but there's also that negative feedback loop out in the world and what I mean by that is say that I kept it and I'm using it or I sold it say I sold it and then a month later I get an email from them and say hey we sent you this backpack it shows that it was delivered please send it back or we have to charge you and then I would end up getting having to pay for it anyway you know that could happen maybe the company would blacklist me and not sell me any more backpacks like who knows there's just it's there's a negative effect that could possibly come back to me because of a choice I made while on the contrary what I did was I emailed them and I said look you guys refunded me but you sent me the backpack anyways what do you want me to do and I didn't know what they were going to say. Maybe they would say keep it, maybe not, whatever. Uh, they ended up responding a few days later saying, you know, thank you so much for your honesty. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're just going to send you a UPS slip. So please, you know, send it back to our warehouse. 
happy to do it. I responded, you know, no problem. Thank you guys for making the best backpacks that I can find. Um, you know, as a business owner, I, I understand that if that kind of thing happens too much to that company, they could go under, they'll go away, and then I won't be able to get sweet backpacks anymore. So in a way, it's like a selfish thing. But now I have opened up a positive feedback loop. I'm going to send their backpack back. They valued my honesty. They appreciate it. Who knows what will come of it? Probably nothing. But maybe they'll send me free shit. Maybe next time I order, it'll they'll flag me and they'll throw in a free rain cover. Uh, maybe none of that stuff, and that's fine. I know I did the right thing, and that's good enough for me. So the funny part of this story is that later that night after I ordered these bags, I bought another one from another company. Um, this one's like my daily driver, I take it to the office. I bought one that I can go up in the mountains, hiking, all that, carry my camera stuff, um, you know, without it getting crushed. And their website was messed up when I was trying to buy it. So I had to try to buy it like four times. And it finally went through. And then a few days later, I get four email confirmations and see four charges on my bank. So I bought four backpacks. So again, I had to email these people and say, hey, I only want one. Please cancel three of these orders and just send me one. And they said, sure, no problem. A couple days later, I see that all four orders are refunded, but I have a UPS tracking updates every day of this package coming to me. <laughs> so I'm getting another free backpack. It's like the universe just wants me to have a free bag. And I'm not going to take this one either. I'm definitely going to make sure that, you know, I let them know what they did and pay them for it because I don't want free stuff. I don't want any negative feedback. You know, ever since I made the choice to make these positive decisions, the abundance is everywhere. There's, I have more than enough. I have so much to be grateful for. I don't need anything for free and I don't want anything for free. And it's just a weird attitude uh, change. And I've experienced the difference. I know a lot of people that will stand in line for 10 hours to get a free freaking ice cream cone or something. And it's so backwards. It's like 10 hours is a lot of time. You know, time is more valuable than money. Money's freaking everywhere. You can't look at anything without seeing some kind of money changing hands. But everyone only has the same amount of time. So anyways, I'm getting off track. Um, the point of the story is that I think karma is real and I explained why it's internal. Your conscience makes it real for you and it's external. You, you have positive and negative feedback loops that you put out cause and effect. And if you put out positive causes, you're going to get positive effects and vice versa. So, you know, think about that, reflect on things that you've done and the results, and maybe you'll see the same thing. Maybe you won't either way. Let me know. Um, also, I know I already said it, but let me know how you get along with the Velcro because that's got to be like the coolest thing ever. So um, I'll leave you with what I always say. Be grateful for something. Find something to be grateful for. Um, you know, pet the cat when it approaches you in the street. That's what Jordan Peterson always says. Um, and what he means is, you know, even, no matter how bad life is, there will be little opportunities to experience something nice. So focus on those moments, relish in them, be grateful for them because those are what are going to get you through those the toughest of times. So be grateful for something, do something nice for somebody, and I'll see you in the next one.